Jerry James Stone, and Andrew, this Cooking Stone video is just for you. Today I'm going to make a bourbon caramel dipping sauce. Now, the thing with a caramel sauce is that you're caramelizing sugar, which can be a bit complicated. There's two ways you can do it. You can caramelize the sugar or melt the sugar when it's completely dry, or you can do it when it's wet. The wet way is like much easier, so I suggest doing it this way. Although, I think that it's good to understand what's going on with your food, so I would also, just as an experiment, try the dry method just to kind of see what's happening. Because when sugar melts, it's actually kind of cool and it smells pretty good. But we're gonna do the wet way in this video. So, to begin with, you're gonna use one and one half cups of granulated sugar. You're gonna add one third of a cup of water to that. You're gonna put it in a pan with just a little bit of lemon juice. Now, the reason you want lemon juice is because when you have that much sugar to that much water, when you're melting it, the sugar will tend to crystallize as it cools, and we do, not, we do not want it to crystallize. So the lemon juice, the acidity from the lemon juice will prevent that from happening. You, won't, you don't want to use more than maybe like a fourth of a teaspoon. It doesn't take much. You can also use cream of tartare or if you want corn syrup, but I think lemon juice is the more natural way to kind of do this. So a little bit of lemon juice, put it in a pan, cover it, turn it to low, and just let it warm up until that sugar dissolves. That should only take a few minutes. Once the sugar is dissolved, you want to bring it to a medium high heat just so it begins to boil, or sorry, just so it begins to simmer. As it's simmering, you don't want it to simmer a lot because you do not want to burn the sugar. You want to just caramelize it. So as it begins to simmer, the sugar water will begin to, the water will begin to evaporate and the sugar itself will begin to caramelize. Now, when it starts to turn just a slightly amber colored, that's when it hits about 300 degrees Fahrenheit. At that point, you really want to keep an eye on the sugar because it doesn't take much to burn it from this point on. So when you first see that slight hit of amber, just make sure that you're standing by the stove. In fact, you want to stand by the stove this whole recipe because it's just really easy to mess up. So as it turns that darker amber color, not burnt, but just like as the amber starts to darken, you're gonna remove it from the heat, and then you're going to add about one fourth cup to one third cup of cream. This is just to like make the caramel a lot more smooth, and so you can actually dip stuff in it. You're gonna add a splash of vanilla and just enough bourbon to make it fun. So I would add a shot, two depending on you know how much you want in there. Uh, mix it all together and now when you're adding the cream to this mixture because of the acidity from the lemon if it curds just whisk it you can whisk it all together and it'll be fine you want to put it back on the stove bring it to a boil mix it all together just for a couple minutes and there you go caramel dipping sauce enjoy